on just one station, the door of a business damaged, and police say a serial smasher is behind it. The suspect has been arrested again. Residents have had enough, and as 7 Sheldon Fox explains in this exclusive, the state attorney has had enough of it, too. He's back. In jail, that is. And though bloody in this latest mugshot, it's people in the neighborhood who are the victims. There's a guy with a knife and a brick. According to victims and cops confessed serial Miami Beach vandal, Michael Utard likes to... Slash tires, smash windows, key cars, and throw bricks through establishments. This is a chronic vandal who's been arrested multiple, multiple times. Constant problem. Here's where Utard struck last, according to cops. He threw a rock right through the front glass window of the popular Lost Weekend, and then he made a break for it. But that's when employees of Lost Weekend and Good Samaritans chased him down. They were able to grab him, and then they returned him to the scene of the crime, according to police. It's where he would be arrested. But now, state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says she's involved. After multiple seven news stories have aired on arrests dating back to May, Rundle says she's reached out to those most affected. How do you make this not be a repeat scenario where he's just back out on the street yeah. committing more crimes? Make sure that I stay in touch with those victims. She actually, the first time she called, apologized that the courts had let him go. Your case is closed. There were some other times where he had been through the system but nobody was really paying attention to it. You're all set, case dismissed. Rundle called Joe Manning, the Condominium Association president of the historic Drake Building on Ocean Drive and 15th Street. It's an area where more than a dozen cars have been hit by Utard, according to police. It's also where neighbors say they live in fear. He maybe could severely hurt somebody someday. What I can do. Rundle says now that she's involved, more stringent conditions and requests will be made to the court that could yield a different result for this habitual defendant now charged with a felony. Sheldon Fox, 7 News. The suspect remains behind bars on a felony charge of criminal mischief. His arraignment is scheduled for the 15th.